the greatness of this country i think many of you or most of you or even all of you do not know what is this greatness of this country here is a battlefield called kurukshetra a battlefield called kurukshetra 18 akshagunis means 45 lakhs of warriors had assembled there 11 akshagunis are on duryodhana side and 7 on yudhishthira side all of them are about to discharge arrows the war cries had been raised everything is set right at that time arjuna wanted to examine the army and find out what is going to be his role with whom he had to fight then krishna took the chariot in front of bhishma and drona this suddenly initiated a very deep enquiry in the mind of the arjuna and arjuna makes that enquiry makes the submission you tell me where in the whole world this kind of an episode in a battlefield has taken place or could have taken place it was war all right everybody was filled with fighting enthusiasm fervor and zeal that is also all right but all of them were patiently remaining unless the main fighters enquiry his distress was set right and nobody interfered with no section 144 was required there everybody kept quiet until arjuna's confrontation was sufficiently resolved in his own mind so the entire army left it to krishna and arjuna to talk over the matters and until sufficient clarity was there moral and spiritual clarity and enlightenment were there nobody was prepared to interfere at all this is what i call the greatness of our country now if you go into the history of kurukshetra the first verse of bhagavad gita says dharma kshetre kurukshetre samaveda yuyutsavah mamaka pandavashchaiva kimagurvata sanjaya the blind king dhridharashtra is asking sanjaya <coughs> in the kurukshetra battlefield what is this kurukshetra battlefield dharma kshetra it was a field for dharma it was a field of righteousness suddenly it has become a battlefront so it has got the history and the legacy of dharma why kuru their common ancestor had performed prolonged austerities in that battlefield and because of the austere vibrations and whatever took place there that had made it a really righteous austere benign benevolent region in that righteous battlefield in the righteous bhumi called kurukshetra how is it that suddenly war is springing up so i would like to know what is the dharmic propriety relating to this entire war was there any dharmic dialogue which transpired before the actual war took place this was the enquiry i am not explaining that verse now but this is the indication so it is not that kurukshetra suddenly triggered a dharmic enquiry it had the background of their own common ancestors prolonged austerity which had made a lot of dharmic vibration even then prevailing there even now kurukshetra is considered to be very holy by all of us so in that so arjuna makes a confession what is that confession karpanya dosho bahada swabhava so i would like to tell you if you want to make your life successful and fulfilling if you want to have success and fulfillment in your life or if you want to have life success and fulfillment necessarily necessarily you have to identify the karpanya dosha lingering lingering in your mind and intelligence remove it whenever there is grief whenever there is torment whenever there is confusion whenever there is delusion whenever there is indecisiveness in this world understand that the only cause can be karpanya dosha am i clear or not ha huh? what all things will take place in this world death disease poverty many accidents so many different types of accidents economic privations can take place there can be social upheavals there can be community misbehavior 
so many other things can take place in this world we will have a number of calamities many of them caused by nature tsunami is one such cyclone hurricane floods drought all these things are nature born in such a world is there anything going to be new for you boliye na ha either it can be death or it can be disease or it can be poverty or it can be natural calamities there is nothing going to be new in this world we are all living in an old world undergoing the old plights and conditions in the most ancient man he had five senses on the body and the panch bhautik world was surrounding him in the most modern man also he has only these five senses and the same panch bhautik world is surrounding now the calamities could be a little more or a little less there are man made calamities now man made calamities also can be various <clears throat> in our ashram a young american couple came they had only one child and the child was retarded a very good tall child you know he gives the feeling of retardation when we look at him he was asked to prostrate before me and we had a little chat etc and finally i asked him have you gone into this what is the situation in america in india much is not being done what is the situation in america and during the course of the conversation he was telling me swami ji instances of this kind were one in 1000 in the united states now it has become one in 100 aapne suna hai ha no are instances of this kind of mental or intellectual retardation was one in 1000 now it has come to 1 in 100 that means it has escalated i said being in america you are given to research research orientation so have you gone into it is there any medical finding he said yes chemical pollution of food and atmosphere suna hai kya ha chemical pollution in food and atmosphere earth is polluted water is polluted air is polluted and we are adding a number of chemicals chemicals you know in kerala we find there is something called banana kerala banana which can be boiled and taken you can boil it for an hour then only it becomes soft it is a price item in kerala generally we add normally fertilizers natural fertilizers like cow dung green fodder etc maximum we give some groundnut oil cake perhaps these days neem oil cake this is actually the fertilizer for these plantains or any other crop for that matter nowadays they have started administering chemicals to such an extent that even 3 days before cutting it and taking to the market they give super phosphate so that the plantain will become a little artificially bigger can you imagine they spray something into the nose and heart of these vegetables this is what is happening but we don't know the consequences of this it's all done with a purpose objective objective purpose but the subjective part is forgot retardation is a result of subjective lack of development so many types of man made calamities also are there but on the whole you will find the world then as well as now almost remains the same there is no difference so nobody should say that we are facing a new situation in this world it is all death disease poverty natural calamities man made calamities and the others accidents epidemics all these are there were there maybe some of the epidemics we have conquered or we have eliminated but new epidemics are coming now swine flu there is no remedy at all they say the human body will have to develop immunity in its own manner so on no account whatsoever you should feel insufficient inwardly in order to tackle the problems of life or face any kind of a distressing situation am i clear or not the strength has to be invoked from within your body not from the body it has to be invoked from the mind through the help of the intelligence ultimately the great grand master the soul is there to supply any extent of energy drive enthusiasm strength and resilience to you 
our inner resources are very very vast very very vast they can never be depleted natural resources can be depleted but inner resources can never be replete, depleted the only trouble is we are not employing them harnessing them we are not identifying them see our ashram in ghasibad it has been named particularly center for inner resources development i had a very special purpose in naming it so everything that takes place in the ashram even through lectures what we are trying to do is tell you about the enormous inner resources and develop them and the one hindering factor for all of us is karpanya doshaha am i clear or not so never blame anybody in this world don't blame god don't blame your relatives don't blame nature whenever we have a problem the problem is sensed by the mind the solution has to be delivered by the mind maybe with the help of a deliberation from the intelligence but it's all problem is sensed by the mind solution has to be discovered and identified by the mind the whole thing rests within the body in the sphere of the mind when you have a strong mind a viable mind a resilient mind an energetic mind an enthusiastic mind a dedicated mind a committed mind an integrated mind a persevering mind what is there not possible in this world just imagine how grave how grave the miserable plight of arjuna was and how suddenly the face changes so he has identified the problem now karpanya dosho bahada swabhava my nature has been overpowered by narrowness narrow mindedness and therefore prichami tvam dharma sammudha chetaha i am deluded with regard to what is proper what is right what is going to be stable what is going to be good for me after all this is a war i have been preparing for for the past 13 years i knew that bhishma and drona would be on the side of duryodhana in spite of all this knowledge when you brought the chariot and stationed it right in front of them suddenly i have crumbled as a valorous fighter as a knowledgeable fighter as one who has been trained properly even with regard to the scriptures should i crumble in this manner i should not so there seems to be an insufficiency in me my dear krishna are you are you following me there seems to be an insufficiency in me this insufficiency is not with regard to my gandiva not with regard to my hand not with regard to the external resources this insufficiency is purely because of my mind mind and mind it is putting forward and displaying some emotions which are not true you have told me i thought it was sympathy you say that it is weakness what a great difference so many of the sympathies you know we have many parents who they are not conscious of how the children will grow they have got only a parental affection and the parental affection robs their mind subdues their mind and whatever is good for the child's growth and development they are unable to do they will pamper the child to such an extent that the psychology of the child will be spoiled is it not so yes or no am i saying something wrong swami ji you are a sanyasi you can say anything about householders is it something like that you know i am born of a householder and i talk to only householders except ma gurupriya i don't think there is any sanyasi in here so we are always interacting with sanyasi alone and i mean with uh, householders alone and all our problems are householder problems in my mind no sanyasi problem at all they alone tell us so we must be able to set right our emotions understand what are the healthy emotions what are the unhealthy and depressing emotions the depressing emotions should be suspended and dissolved and the healthy emotions should be encouraged and strengthened this is how we have to proceed so he has identified the problem so my formula is very clear in order to have success and fulfillment in life what you have to do is identify that we are suffering from karpanya dosha and it has to be removed whenever you have a doubt whenever you have an oscillation whenever you have confusion or delusion it's all born of karpanya dosha karpanya dosha that weakness of the mind and the heart narrowness of the mind and the heart 
we are unable to think of the world in toto in a comprehensive manner sometimes people will say oh god why did you do this to me there are two wrongs there god never does anything so your statement is wrong secondly why should you yourself say godness is, god is goodness and gracious can the goodness gracious god anything do anything harmful to you no then why are you making this statement is only because of your delusion and carpanya where is it written that god is doing any harm to anybody why should he do any harm is harm done by god or is harm done by man suniye na all our problems are every problem is man made here i will venture and go to tell you that there is nothing in the human world there is nothing in the human world other than the panchabhudas which god has made your house who made there is a doubt god made it at night when you were sleeping are your house who made the dress you wear who made the roads the vehicles all the offices what about the food cereals etc everything is man made here except the panchabhudas bare earth water air sunlight so many different stars different forms of energy etc everything is man made there is nothing that is god made tell me what is one item which you are wearing or using which is god made we are walking on the earth that's all breathing the air everything else is made by ourselves so never say why god did this to me he has done nothing to you nothing harmful he has done any time so it is all a delusion so i am asking you now i want to fight this war successfully and it must fulfill me also i should not fight as a weakling i should not fight as a deluded person i must be able to fight fight and feel my arrows very confidently courageously and take every step forward without any kind of a further intimidation from my own mind hereafter so please let me know yet shreyasya nischitam bruhitan me am i clear yet shreyasya nischitam bruhitan me in order to live a successful and a fulfilling life you must enquire and acquire shreyas 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 there are two words in sanskrit and in upanishads one is called shreyas another is called prayas what is prayas whatever is pleasant and titillating to the nervous system is called pleasant and whatever is good and lastingly cherishable is called shreyas so i want to know what is that possession acquisition or gain on getting which my mind and intelligence will remain full full and full yet shreyasya nishchitam bruhitan me i do agree krishna that i am a disciple i am not a fighter in order to make me a fighter first of all instruct me as you will a teacher will any disciple and make me full give me all the courage poise and determination so he is bringing an element called shreyas will you forget it or remember the key to the success and fulfillment of life is the possession in an ample degree of what you call shreyas 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 have you ever acquired it chup rehte hain kyun boliye na have you already acquired it why don't you say no perhaps you have not heard about it whereas we have so many other facets of education so many educational degrees are there but where is that shreyas shreyas <coughs> one of our disciples in america <coughs> he has named his girl shreyas you understand some such names are given but it's not acquired so there is something called a mentor intellectual or a mentor intelligential attainment called shreyas everlasting everlasting felicity everlasting felicity am i clear 
my english word is okay not facility that is what we all want and we are making felicity felicity shreyas shishyasteham shadhimam tvam prapannam so the question of doing the war arises only after you have fulfilled this requirement of mine arjuna proceeds to say something more it's very interesting it's a verdict given by the great valorous fighter arjuna on the battlefield of kurukshetra before the commencement of the war what is that nahi prabashyami mama banudya യോഗമുച്ഛോഷണമിന്ദ്രിയാണാം അവാപ്യഭൂമാവസപത്നമൃദ്ധം രാജ്യം സുരാണാം അപി ചാധിപത്യം വെൻ എവർ യു ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് ദ വേൾഡ് ആൻഡ് ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് അവർ ഓൺ ലൈഫ് യു വിൽ ഫൈൻ പോസിബിളി ദർ ആർ ടു ഡിഫറെന്റ് ടൈപ്സ് ഓഫ് ഗെയിംസ് വൺ വിൽ ബി ദ ഗെയിംസ് പ്രൊവൈഡഡ് ബൈ അഫോർഡഡ് ബൈ ദ വിസിബിൾ വേൾഡ് വാട്ട് ആർ ദ ഗെയിംസ് യു ഹാവ് എ ഹൗസ് ടു ലിവ് a family to hold on to subsequently you get married to a good partner you raise a family have children you have a good profession any kind of a profession you have ample income as many children as you have you have so many buildings also in delhi or bombay then you also have some other property all these things this is what we are looking into so these are terrestrial or earth born earthy earthly gains gains afforded by this world then there are other gains afforded by the other world what is the other world see in our scriptures in our mythologies etc you have references like heaven after death and there are seven lokas upward seven lokas downward bhu bhuvah suvah maha janah tapah satyam these are the seven worlds so if you are holy and virtuous by virtue of the virtue and holiness you may be transported at the end of your life to some other great loka it is a possibility held before you and we believe it so there are this worldly gains and the other worldly gains are you with me when i am saying all these things am i saying something useful and relevant for you or no interested so he says nahi prapashyami mama banudya yat shoka muchoshanam indriyanam avapya bhuma vasapatna mridham rajyam suranam api chadhipatyam krishna krishna never hold before me the prospect of attaining a kingdom and royal prosperity when will i get the kingdom if i fight the war and win it then i will get the kingdom then only i can have royal prosperity so that is one prospect of fighting this war another is if i happen to die if i happen to die i will fall dead but i will attain veera swarga this is another prospect religiously held out now i want you to tell me very clearly that i am not interested either in the would be kingdom or prosperity nor in the posthumous reward like heaven and other things keep aside these two if you can tell me anything in the form of a shreyas which will have the effect of yachosham uchosha yachogam uchoshanam indriyanam i am now being scorched by scorched by a very powerful grief which is actually eating up my senses eating up my body i want this grief to be suspended to be dissolved to be suspended to be dissolved shall i stop for a while so that you will understand this presentation see arjuna is pinpointing what he means by the sayas our subject is where lies success and fulfillment of life now arjuna is the best man to illustrate it he has come to fight a herculean war an unprecedented war and 45 lakhs of warriors are present there partly on his side and the remainder the greater number on the other side in such a great task that he is facing he is stopping everything and asking arjuna to fill his mind primarily with stress and what is that stress he says it is not a prospect of victory only when i fight for 18 days it will be decided whether i will lose or gain if i gain i may get the kingdom or i may lose it 
If I may lose, if I lose, then you will say, I will get the heaven. These are distant prospects. I am not interested in them. 